Hello everyone, hello grade 5. Our lesson today is multiplying common fractions and multiplying decimal fractions. We studied before how can we multiply a decimal by integral number. We will follow the same steps in multiplying decimal fractions. Let's start. Multiplying common fractions. Example. He said 3 over 4 times 16 over 9. The first step is what? Cancel out the common factors between numerators and denominators. 4 and 16 have a common factor which is 4 we can divide here by 4 divided by 4 equals 1 divided by 4 equals 4 by the same way 3 and 9 here have a common factor which is 3 divided by 3 equals 1 divided by 3 equals 3 now the second step multiply the remaining factors 1 times 4 up it will be here 4 and 1 times 3 down it will be 3 so the product here will be 4 over 3 4 over 3 is what is improper fraction and we studied before if we have an improper fraction you should write it as a mixed number so 4 divided by 3 equals 1 and the remainder will be 1 so 4 over 3 equals 1 and 1 over 3 so don't forget to multiply common fractions we have two steps the first step cancel out the common factors between numerators and denominators which is simplify the second step multiply the numerators multiply the denominators to get the product in other words we can say if we have a over b times c over d just multiply the two numerators a times c over b times d we will get here a c over b d example find the product of the following 4 over 3 times 2 over 3 1 over 7 times 3 over 4 and 12 over 18 times 2 over 3 the first one ask yourself 4 and 2 have a common factor yes which is 2 Divided by 2 equals 2, divided by 2 equals 1. We can cancel 3 directly. Divided by 3 equals 1, divided by 3 equals 1. Now, multiply the remaining factors. 1 times 1 equals what? Equals 1. And 2 times 1 equals 2. The product will be 1 half. Look at the second. 1 over 7 and 3 over 4. We have no common factors here. We will multiply the two numerators and the two denominators up and down directly 1 times 3 equals 3 and 7 times 4 equals 28 12 over 18 times 2 over 3 the fraction 12 over 18 is not in the simplest form we can simplify it dividing by 6 we get here 2 over 3 Divided by 6 equals 3, divided by 6 equals 2. Multiply the remaining factors, we will get here 2 times 2 equals 4, over 3 times 3 guys equals what? Equals 9. So, the product will be 4 over 9. Next, 5 over 11 times 3 over 5. Cancel 5 directly, we will get 1. Divided by 5 equals 1. Divided by 5 equals now 1. Multiply the remaining factors. We will get 1 times 3 equals 3. And 11 times 1 equals 11. It will be 3 over 11. 3 over 4 times 24. Look here. We have here a fraction. We have here a whole number. We can multiply a fraction by an integral or a whole number. Try to find out the common factor between the denominator of the fraction and the whole number. Denominator is what? 4. The whole number is 24. Now, did you find out the common factor? Yes, I found it. It's 4. 
We can here divide by 4. Divided by 4 equals 1. Divided by 4 equals 6. Multiply the remaining factors. 3 times 6 equals what? Equals 18. By the same way, a fraction times a whole number. 3 over 5 times 50. Did you find the common factor between the denominator which is 5 and 50? Whole number? Yes, it's 5. Divided by 5 equals 1. Divided by 5 equals 10. Now, multiply the remaining factors to get the product. 3 times 10 equals what? Equals 30. Multiplying decimal fractions. Example. Find the product of the following. 0 0.12 times 0 0.3 and 0 0.625 times 0 0.7. We studied before multiplying decimals by integral number. Did you remember the steps, guys? Yeah. Step 1 is what? Ignore the decimal point and multiply as a whole numbers, as we studied before. Step 2. Insert the decimal point after finding the product according to the decimal places we have in decimal factor. Today, we will apply the same steps, but we have two decimals. You have to count decimal places. Let's start with 0 0.625 times 0 0.7. Ignore the decimal point, we will get 625 times 7. Multiplying 7 by 625 starting from right to left. 7 times 5 equals what? Equals 35. Write 5 and keep 3. 7 times 2 equals 14, 14 plus 3 equals 17, write 7 and keep 1. 7 times 6 equals 42, 42 plus 1 equals 43. Now, insert the decimal point, ask yourself, how many decimal places we have? We have here 3 decimal places, we have here 1 decimal place. So, count the decimal places, we have here 4 decimal places. Now, insert this decimal point after four digits from the right. 5, 7, 3, 4. Insert the decimal point and hold the unit's place with 0. Next, 1.2 or 0 0.12 times 0 0.3. Ignore the decimal point, we will get 12 times 3. Start, multiply 12, 3 by 12 from right to left. 3 times 2 equals 6 and 3 times 1 equals 3. So 3 times 12 equals 36. Now count how many decimal places we have. 1 and 2. So insert the decimal point after 3 digits from the right. But we have here 2 digits. We started before. So insert 0 to the left of 3. We will write 0 and insert the decimal point now and hold units place with 0. Next, 1.2 times 0 0.37. How can we multiply? Ignore the decimal point. We will get 12 times 37. How can we multiply 12 times 37? We studied before by placing holding method. We start with the units place which is 7. Multiply 7 by 12 here start from right to left so 7 times 2 followed by 7 times 1 7 times 2 equals 14 write 4 and keep 1 7 times 1 equals 7 plus 1 equals 8 so 12 times 7 equals what yes equals 84 before going to the tenth place write 0 in one place don't forget and don't forget to align the two products above each other, by the way. 3 times 2 equals what? Equals 6. And 3 times 1 equals 3. So, 3 times 12 equals 36. Now, add the two partial products. 4 plus 0 equals 4. And 8 plus 6 equals 14. Yes. Write 4. And carry 1 over 3. It will be 4. Now, how can we insert the decimal point? Ask yourself how many decimal places we have. Look at the first. We have here one decimal place and second two decimal places. The first decimal, one decimal place and second two decimal places.
So count 1 plus 2, it will be 3 decimal places. So insert the decimal point after 3 digits from the right. 4, 4, 4, insert the decimal point and hold units place with 0. So the product will be 0 0.444. Next, 1.25 times 0 0.37. By the same way, ignore the decimal point. We will get here 125 times 37. By the same way, we will use place holding method. Start with 7 times 125. 7 times 5 equals 35. Write 5 and keep 3. 7 times 2 equals what? Equals 14. 14 plus 3 equals 17. Yes. And 7 times 1 equals 7. Plus 1 equals 8. So 7, 125 times 125. It will be 875. Before going to the 10th place, write 0 in 1th place and 3 times 5 equals 15, write 5 and keep 1. 3 times 2 equals 6 plus 1 equals 7, 3 times 1 equals 3. The product will be 375. Write a line and add the two partial products. 5 plus 0 equals what? Equals 5. 7 plus 5 equals what? Equals 12. Write 2 and carry 1 over 8. It will be 9. 9 plus 7 equals 16. Write 6 and carry 1 over 3. It will be 4. Now, how can we insert the decimal point? Ask yourself how many decimal places we have. In the first decimal, we have two decimal places. The second, two decimal places. Now, insert the decimal point after four decimal places in the product. You can count from right to left, five, two, six, four, and insert the decimal point and keep zero in units place. Thank you for watching. See you soon, guys.